Welcome to our video presentation of the IBM Installation Manager. In this video, we're going to install the IBM Packaging Utility on Linux. To begin, I need to open up a terminal so that I can install this from the command line. But I'm going to install it with the graphical user interface. Now, I've already downloaded a zip file from the IBM website. I need to navigate to that directory and confirm the location of that file. It is the zip file that starts with pu.offering. Now, I need to unzip the zip file. So I'll create a directory called pu, and then unzip the zip file. OK, I've unzipped the zip file. The zip file contained a directory called disk linux. And in the disk linux directory, there is a disk tag.inf file. There is no additional executable files in this directory. So we install this with the IBM Installation Manager. As usual, to start the Installation Manager, I need to sign in as root navigate to the IBM Installation Manager directory and start the IBM Installation Manager with the IBM IM command. Now I have installed the Installation Manager and I've upgraded it to the latest version. But the Installation Manager has not yet been used to install any packages. I have not installed the packaging utility. We can look at the installed packages, and there are none. Also, the IBM Installation Manager is not aware of where we have unzipped the archive, so we need to add a repository. Now, the Installation Manager enables us to type in the first part of a directory and then hit the Browse button. From there, I can navigate into the PU directory and into the Disk Linux directory. And I need to find the disk tag.inf file that identifies this as a repository. OK, I'm going to add this repository by pressing the OK button. The repository is shown in the list, and it is enabled with a checkbox. So I'll save my changes with the OK button. We've just made Installation Manager aware of the packaging utility. To install it, I click the Install icon. And in this case, I've downloaded, uh, intentionally downloaded, version 1.4.1, although 1.4.2 is available. So I'm going to use this feature of Installation Manager that is check for other versions, fixes, and extensions. There are other versions found. And notice that the latest version is displayed. I'll check that. And then I'll press the Next button. So although my repository is 1.4.1, I'm going to go ahead and install 1.4.2. On the license page, I need to select the I accept option and press the next button. Under the location, there are actually two locations that I need to enter. One is for the shared files. And on this machine, I'm going to have it as slash opt, slash IBM, slash shared. And it's going to be all lowercase except for capital S and shared. The other location is the package utility itself. And on this machine, I'm going to use slash opt, slash IBM, slash PU. OK, 
click the Next button. This will take us to Features. In this case, I'm only going to install English Translation. And click the Next button. And on the Features page, there are no optional features. So the features that is selected is IBM Packaging Utility 1.4.2. And I'll click the Next button. On the summary page, we can confirm that we do want to install the utility and where it's going to be installed and press the Install button. It goes about installing it and there, the IBM Packaging Utility version 1.4.2 is installed. And I'll click the Finish button. To confirm that I have installed a piece of software through the Installation Manager, I go to the View Installed Packages and this gives me information about what is installed, which versions, and where it's installed. And that is our demonstration of installing the IBM Packaging Utility with the IBM Installation Manager. Thanks for watching.